Okay guys, we have got a really cool glitch out for this giant shield that enables you guys to do this. Yes, a bubble blower. Not only is it a bubble blower, but if you spec into this correctly, this is a bloody strong bubble blower. And although you may get a little bit frustrated at the beginning of this, and it may take you a little while to get it the first time, once you figure it out, you are getting this 100% of the time. And this thing is, is pretty crazy. Look at that. The pretty bubbles. Let's get into it. If you'd be so kind beforehand, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Greatly appreciated. Check the description for a link heading over to our new mental merch. It'd be also pretty damn awesome. Let's get into the video. So as you can see, this is pretty insane indeed. And there's not many times that you can see that a glitch or a bug in the system after a patch will do something as mental as this does. And to be honest, this is probably one of my st most enjoyable bugs slash glitches, whatever you want to call it, in the game right now. This is just hilarious. And not only that, but it's like I said, if you spec into this correctly, you can do this pretty much every time and it will cause a hell of a lot of damage. So we're going to run you through exactly how this works today. So the broadsword, this is a weapon that I highly recommend you doing this with. A uh, big shout out to DPJ actually for recommending this weapon. I'll make sure I leave his link down in the description below. Go and check him out. He's an amazing guy. But irrelevant, the broadsword is the only one that seems to be working out. We might, during this video, try this out with a different one to see if it does work. But for right now, we're going to show you guys exactly how this works. So, the way you want your weapon laid out is you want your giant shield on the right hand side. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, it is the visage shield. This is the shield that you want on your right hand and on your off hand you want to have the sword. Now we want to go and hold just the sword in dual hand, putting the shield on our back. What we're going to do is we're going to take a swipe and as soon as the sword hits the top of our heads, so as soon as it goes over the top and hits its apex, we are going to press the L2 or the Ash of War ability. Now it doesn't matter what it is that you've got as the Ash of War because it won't actually proc in this. From that point, once you've pressed it, you will go into your equipment, go to your sword, switch out to your Envoy's Longhorn and then exit with the pause menu. If you don't do that, it's not going to work, but we're going to give you guys a quick lowdown again, just so you've got the concept. It is the standard swipe. We then press the Ash of War at the apex. We go to our equipment, onto the broadsword, and switch it for the Longhorn, and press the pause menu again. When you put all of that together, it should look a little bit like this. And the bubble blower is here. And like I said, once you've got it down to a T, you will get it every single time. It is a little bit finicky, but you don't even have to be as quick as you may actually think. This is one of those glitches which most people would think that you need to do this as fast as you possibly can. But it's just not the case. You have to be very precise with it, which is why we say that you have to hit your sword just at the apex. So we're going to show you guys again exactly how this works. And this is... Pretty damn amazing. I can't believe, actually, once you figured it out, how easy this genuinely is. So we go swipe to the top, press Ash of War when the sword goes right to the top of the swing. We go to Equipment, switch over to Longhorn, press Pause. It's just that simple, and I keep saying it because I think I don't understand how simple this genuinely is. And I'm a little bit shocked that it's this easy to execute. But we are going to go... Bap, 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 bap. There we go. We've got bubbles. We've got bubbles. This is pretty cracked out. We're going to show you guys some clips right now. I'm going to see if I can execute this on a few bosses or a few bigger ads. And we're going to probably even show you guys a horde or two just to show you exactly how this pans out. But this is mental. There's no way that this is going to stay in the game. Mainly because the Longhorn itself was OP as it was. And especially if you pan this with quite a few other items, you'll actually find that because of the damage that this puts out, if you put this alongside maybe the Sacred Scorpion, it's going to cause an absolute shed ton of damage extra. And we put that together with maybe some of the incantations like Flame Grammy Strength or Golden Vow for that matter. It's just going to be absolutely ridiculous. And now these sorts of bugs are good fun to do and they are really really good fun to execute once you've got them down to a T. But these will not stay in the game for long. There are a lot of tubers that are covering this right now and I am under no illusion that we are 
not the first. Although I don't know who the founder of this one was. It is unfortunate. So like I say, DPJ is down in the comment section, in the description below, sorry. Make sure you go and check him out and show him some love. This has been an amazing one, and this isn't one that I will use for me personally, as I don't find it really the most effective. It's not really my cup of tea. It is pretty funny to, to execute, and you guys know I already just cover all of that good stuff. It's just the way that it is. It, sometimes you will fluff it up like that for the record, but yeah, we're just going to cover it here and then have a load of fun with some other stuff right now. And like I said, that was a really, really cool glitch. It's something that you can get done and I am by no means a spring chicken. My my age is nearly 30 now, so you're going to have no problems with actually being able to execute this if I can. And there we go. We've got it again. It's like three times in one video. How many times can you bash out this bloody thing without being able to mess it up, I guess? It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Let me know down in the comment section exactly what you guys are thinking and if you guys are intrigued by this. Also, while we've got this video, if you've managed to get this far, and I have done this a little bit on purpose, it means that you guys are an absolute tank and a bomber for the channel. We are going to start going live very, very soon. We're starting up the live streams again and hopefully you guys will be able to come along for the journey it's been amazing as a Elden Ring content creator and I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys who have supported me so without further ado if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up subscribe with post notifications turned on I appreciate all your faces and as always up until the next time I'll see you in the clouds